Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope this lighting is good. I am actually filming in my dining room in my brand new location. Um, I, I have filmed in here in the past, but my desk was on the other side and I moved things around in the room and I'm not using a ring light, I'm just in front of my windows. So let me know how this is without the ring light because I know, I don't know, I thought the ring light was giving it more of a glare because I have a lot of light coming through that's filtering. Okay, today is a great fit day. It is my third fit. If that interests you, please keep watching. All right, guys. So if you're new to Drape Fit, Drape Fit is a uh, try before you buy clothing online subscription service. You go on their website and you, um, put in your information of your likes and dislikes of like, you know, different styles and stuff like that and your budget. And then a personal stylist is chosen for you and curates seven items and usually one piece of jewelry or like a scarf or something like that. And they ship it to your home. So I am affiliated with, with Drake Fit and I'm really, really, Appreciate this company very much and love them very much for what they do. No, nope, that didn't sound good. Do it again. All right, guys. I am sitting. This is so comfy. I am in front of my windows and I can hear the birds outside and everything else. So if you're new to Drape Fit, Drape Fit is a try before you buy online styling service. That you go on their website, you fill out a style profile of your preferences and your budget, and a stylist is chosen for you and curates seven items and sends them to your home. And you have seven days to try them before you buy them. And it is a more budget friendly um, styling service than, than some of the others. And I am affiliated with drape fit so this is my third fit and i only have to pay a dollar for for one of my um boxes each time and um because i am affiliated with them but it is a 20 dollars styling fee but if you click on my link down below and if it's your first time trying drape fit you'll get a 25 dollar credit towards your first fit and i will get a 25 dollar credit as well and I thank you in advance if you do use my link because it helps me bring more drape fit to you your way okay let's get started I am wearing the first outfit but we're just gonna go through them and and then I'm gonna stand up and you know do the try on so the first thing are these circle post ring pair dangle earrings and they're in the color gold these are really pretty. They're very understated and um, they are post. Isn't that beautiful? I love those. My cat is jumping around if you hear anything. We're still training her. She decides she likes to jump on counters even though we tell her she can't. Come here, Nala. Why don't you come and show everybody you? Come here. Come here, sweetie. Oh, I just digged in her ear with my finger. Isn't that nice? All right. So, those are really cute, right? All right, let's get into the box. I did open this. I did get a preview of what I was getting. Um, and just before this video starts, you will see how beautifully packaged it was in their um, original packaging. It's a beautiful black tissue paper with drape and tape it on it. It's really nice. So this is my bundo. And of course what I'm wearing. Really nice, right? All right. So let's go through this. She loves boxes. So if you hear anything in the background, that will be my cat going in a box. They give you a prepaid mailer really nice. It's a bag. You get to just mail everything back in. You don't want to keep. Now I will say this when you get your, yeah. when you get your first fit, 
you um, have to go online. You know, after you um, create an account, you know, you have an account already, you go online and there's going to be options to keep, exchange, return. And then you just have to check out before you mail out is what I say. Okay? So ju just remember to do that because then they're not sure of what you're keeping and what you're returning and then they charge you right then and there. Now, if you do need an exchange, you do not get charged up front. What they do is they, <clears throat> you know, you send back the, the original one and um, they are already in the works getting your exchange ready. And when you receive that, if you do like it, then you do the same process again. You go on their website and you either keep, return, or exchange, and that's it. And then you um, check out and then they charge you then, which is really nice because a lot of um, online styling services do not do that. So, okay, so let's see. You get this little thing. It says, we do best fit. And, you know, you complete your style profile, request a fit box, keep what fits you. So that's just a cute little um, pamphlet you get in your box. And this is your pricing sheet of everything that was sent to you. You get a nice stylist note. Hold on. Yep. You get a stylist note. And we're going to go through the prices as I go through each thing, okay? So, this top, this is really cute. This is um, already pre-cuffed for you, so it is sewed down. It's like a dolman, I would say. Really cute. Blue and white. And it reminds me of that... Oh, I can't think of that fabric. It's like a gingham type fabric. I forgot what it's called. I forgot. But it's a beautiful light blue. And this is, and all of these things are in a size large, okay? Let me give you the fabric content. 65% viscose and 35% polyester made in China. And you know another thing I really like is that their clothes never stink. You ever get clothing from a company and they just have like a chemical smell to them and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to get rid of this. I can't keep this. These have a really nice, pleasant scent to them. So you can tell that it's really, really good quality. Okay. So this is called the V-neck cotton stripe blouse, size 12 large. So you either get a size 10 in a large or a size 12, whatever you tell them of what your sizes are. And this is the color blue. This is a collared shirt. It only has one, two, three buttons. So it's a pullover with a nice um, yoke going down the front of it. That's really nice. And this is the back. Pretty, right? Okay. And that goes for, let's see, I don't know if they're, it's called the plaid print button up rolled short sleeve shirt, $30.50. That's not bad. I think their quality is really good. And, and like I said, I get, um, you know, if, if you have seen my other drape fits, I'm on the lower end of the budget. So my, everything's under $50 for, for each piece. Um, but, but you can go all the way up. I believe it's like over $200. And, um, you can also get a box curated for your children and also for your husband or that special man in your life. Okay, so that's the first one. The next one, let's see. This is really I don't know what happened on my camera. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so 
This is a short sleeve. It does have slits on the side. It is really, really beautiful. If you are going on a vacation, right? Or we're bathing suit because we're still in summer now we're in late summer so you know the pools are still open the beaches are still open but if you live in a warmer client climate they're always open right but this is really cute to wear over a cami a tank top a graphic tee you can wear this over um, like a bathing suit a body suit with a cute little jean short there's so many ways to wear a cami I mean a, a um, kimono <laughs> all right so that is let's see that is called the tropical print chiffon elbow sleeve kimono size large black $25 that's not bad I mean for like a bathing suit cover-up or everything else I just mentioned you can even wear it with leggings too which is really cute okay the next thing are these shorts. Now, I did request shorts. I've been looking for shorts, and um, I put some weight on, so a lot of my shorts weren't fitting right. You know, that perimenopause weight that we all love. <laughs> um, but these are really nice. These are distressed, and they are cuffed ready for you, so, you know, they're sewn cuffed. And I love this pocket placement on them. Pocket placement, ladies, is so important because it lifts the, you know, our, our backsides and it just smooths things out. It doesn't give us that pancake butt, right? Really nice. And this is, I would say, this isn't a dark denim. This is more like a, um, you know, like a true medium wash, but not really deep dark indigo or anything. I love the yoke in too. You see that yoke on the top of it? That also makes your waist smaller than it than it is. It appears smaller than it is. And then also where the pockets are. So it'll give you that perfect hourglass figure. Um, so these are, okay, this, that is distressed, but you know, you know, you still put your fingers through it. This one, you can't, the top one, and yeah, I think they're really nice. So we'll see on these. And um, <clears throat> these are, jean shorts, light blue, $24.99. So they are calling these light blue. I wonder what their dark wash would be considered then. Like I said, they're not really, really dark. So that could be why they're calling them that. But really stretchy. And these are by the, um, this is by Drape Fit. So, so this is their original brand. Um, I don't see the fabric content on these. Let's see. I don't see any fabric content on these actually. Um, I mean, they feel like a cotton spandex, maybe with a little bit of polyester in them, but I don't see any fabric content on these. So, but they are very, very stretchy. So that tells me there's a lot of spandex. I would at least say 10% spandex in this because the amount of stretch that is in them. They're like a jagged short, ladies, is what I would say. Okay, so... Um, did I just tell you the price on those? I don't remember if I did. Jean shorts. No, I didn't. Uh, $24.99. Really good price for a jean short. And that color is really nice to transition into fall. And like I was um, sharing on my videos last year, I don't know if you guys are new or, or not, but I actually wear tights or leggings with my jean shorts and a ride-in boot and a cardigan and camis and tank tops, graphic tees. I think that looks really edgy, really cute, really stylish. Okay, and the next thing, and you can also wear jean shorts with a sweater, you know, uh, you know, during, you know, like this transition period, like a lightweight sweater, you know, uh, like, like, you know, like with a front tuck in the front. Okay. The next thing is this V-neck short sleeve basic top 
size large pink. Really pretty. Wow, that's really pretty, right? And bright. Really nice. It's a v-neck. I love v-necks because they elongate your neck. Crew necks are not really my favorite. I, I really um, gravitate towards more V's than anything. But I, I do wear, wear the, um, the crews. And the fabric content of on this is 98% cotton, 2% spandex. This is by the brand Ambiance. Ambiance is, um, I remember shopping at Deb's of where they used to have them in the mall. And that's where I used to buy my, this brand all the time. So, okay, and then what I'm wearing, I'm going to let you know that after, um, you know, I stand up and everything. So this one is the uh, V-neck short sleeve basic top. So it's a basic, and it's for $24.99. I think that's a little high for a t-shirt, but, um, I mean, you know, of all the things you can do with a t-shirt, then, you know, I would consider it, but well, we'll see. Okay. And now I'm going to read my stylist note. It says, hi, Barbara, I'm Alberta. And this is her third time styling me. So if you're watching Alberta, thank you so much. She does an amazing job each time. I am styling your third fit box. I picked out a brown long sleeve top that can be paired with your brown skirt and gold earrings. Now, I do have the brown top on and the skirt, but I am not going to do the earrings because I want to save them for the next person in line who gets these. I just, I don't know. I don't want to open them up. I'd rather save them for the next one. Um, I also chose a pair of blue denim shorts that can be paired with your pink v-neck short sleeve tee and your black floral kimono. Lastly, I chose a blue button-down short sleeve top and a blue sleeveless top, both of which can be paired with any pair of pants, jeans, or shorts of your choosing. Okay. And then she, I hope you are delighted and I can't wait to read your feedback. Please feel free to take a photo of you in your new fits. And I do. And stay safe. Okay. That's so nice that a stylist sends you a little note and they take time out of their day to do that. That's really nice. So I'm going to be back with the try-ons. And, but before I do, I want to say, if you are new to my channel, I want to say welcome. There are some new subscribers and I thank you so much for your love and your support. And if you're not, you know, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for coming back, spending some time with me. Um, so let's get into this try on, shall we? All right, guys. So this is the first top. Now I will say I love the cutout detail because cutouts are going to be huge in 2022. They were really big. They made a comeback from, um, uh, 2019, um, you know, to last year, but now this year they're going to be even bigger. So you're going to see cutouts on purses. You're going to see them on accessories. You're going to see them on clothing, on shoes. So this is a beautiful, trendy piece. If you want to add this to your wardrobe, I think it's beautiful. But I think for me, it's just a little too low and too risque. So I don't think I'm going to get this one. And the color just seems a little off for me. So I think I'm going to pass on this, but it is really beautiful. The sleeves are, you know, long enough for me, which I have that issue too sometimes. And I just love this. It's just so pretty. It's not too high on the neck. It doesn't feel like I'm choking, which, which I appreciate. I love that. And I, I just think this is so nice. And this is the skirt. And this is a really nice, um, you know, it feels like a polyester skirt, but it's very lightweight. So it's easy breezy and still perfect for that transitional, um, you know, turn that, that we're going to. It has these two little slits on the side, which I think are really nice. Modest, but in still with a little bit of a sexy flair. I love this wide waistband. 
This is definitely my size. Really pretty. This is like an A-line, I would say. More of an A-line. And I am almost 5'6". So it goes pretty long. I would call this more of a maxi um, than a midi. But overall, I think it's really nice. What do you guys think about this one? Okay. It's um, the color of this top reminds me of a mocha chocolate brown. Yum, right? <laughs> and this is the back. So, you know, it does cover the bra nicely. All right, guys, this is the pink t-shirt. I am wearing a black bra, so I'm gonna stand away. <laughs> it is a little see-through. You definitely need a nude, nude undergarment under this color, but it is so beautiful and bright and isn't it really pretty? And this is the sleeves. So it's like almost mimicking a cap sleeve, almost. It's, it's, it's considered a short sleeve, but I don't know. I don't like them tight like that. It feels tight on. It's not tight when I go like this, but it feels tight in those arms. And it's a beautiful v-neck, like I showed you before. So let's... Um, Really nice. Okay. All right. And these are the shorts. Ugh, these are tight. I am going to get an exchange in them, though, because I do like them. But around my hip bones, they're tight. And these are definitely have to go back and get a... Um, an extra large in them so okay so do you like these ladies they're not too short I'm sorry they're just digging a little bit and everything and they do look really nice they're really flattering I love the pocket placements on them Okay. Okay. So I wanted to just show you the top by itself, but I'm going to show you this kimono. Because she said to pair it, she recommends it pairing it over this. And I could see why, because the pink's in it. And I think this is a really nice, really nice kimono. What do you guys think about this? Okay. All right, guys, this is the other top. I have to go quick with this. It's really tight on me. And I'm gonna come up and just show this to you because it does show some cleavage there. And I'm not comfortable with that, but it's okay. really- my phone is acting wonky. I apologize. So this is the crochet. It's really pretty. But like I said, you would have to wear, I mean, you would need like a certain bra with this. Not a racer back. A strapless is what I meant. And I don't wear strapless bras unless I absolutely have to. And I'm just not doing that. <laughs> it's really nice though. You see how it just goes right where the shorts like right on top of the shorts which is really nice so it makes you not not think i mean like look like you're not wearing anything right i love the back of it okay all right guys this is the last top seersucker was the word that i was trying to think of earlier this is really nice i mean you can nope you can't unbutton it anymore so it's it doesn't show any cleavage i appreciate that um I really love these sleeves. So ladies, if you don't like your arms, this is a really nice sleeve to, you know, to wear. It's kind of, I mean, it feels tight. So, all right. Um, 
So I just did a front tuck in the shorts. I thought that was a really cute look. And this is it out. It has, you know, like it pulls away from the belly, which is nice. But it just feels tight on me and but it is a really nice top. I, I love the collar. I love the material. It's very, very soft. I love the sleeves and I love the length. Just not sure about the color. Like I said, I do not have a ring light on. I'm just right in front of windows. Let me know guys if you like this light and if it's good, make sure it's not going in and out like the last time. Sometimes you want to scream when you're filming, right? <laughs> All right, I'll be right back with the wrap up. All right, guys, I am back. Okay, let's um do the recap, shall we? There were a lot of cute things in here. I'm just wearing a romper from from No Boundaries from last year. This isn't anything from Drake Fit. Okay, let's go through this material first, and um. Let's see, this is hand wash cold, and this is 95% polyester, 5% spandex for this um, top. This top, overall, this top was really cute. Um, it wouldn't be a color that I would gravitate towards, so I am gonna be returning this. If it was a little bit deeper, and I think I need it to go down a size maybe, I'm not sure, because either that I mean, it fit perfectly. It just was showing too much on the top that I wasn't really comfortable with. So that's going to go back. This skirt is really beautiful. Um, let me just give you the fabric content on this. And I'm not sure where that is. It does feel like polyester, though. Um... This does feel like a polyester. This is by Hayden, Los Angeles. But I don't know, there's no fabric content in this. But it does feel like a really nice brushed polyester. So really, really pretty. I would have considered this if it didn't have these slits in it and if it wasn't so full everywhere. I like my skirts a little bit more closer to the body but not you know, like I love pencil skirts too, but like if I'm going to do a maxi, I don't like to have so much fabric billowing everywhere. And this leopard print is really nice. I do like leopard, but I'm going to pass on this as well. But it is very beautiful. If you're looking for a leopard skirt, this is awesome to transition to because of the print, you know, the darker colors. And you can really pop this with reds and greens and purple. So many different colors you can wear with leopard. Um, orange, you know, rust colors, like a really nice rust color sweater or something like that. Okay, the kimono. If you saw my last straight fit, I had a really beautiful white kimono in there, but it just was really big overall. And I really like this one, so I think this is going to be a keeper. Let me know your comments down below, but I think I'm going to be keeping this one. I can wear this now because of the black. See, with the black background, it's perfect for transition weather, right? You can still wear this in the spring and summer, of course, but I just think because it's not like those bright, bright tropic colors in your face, this is really nice for transitioning, and especially in a warmer comment. I mean climate as well oh my gosh so this is really pretty I can pop this with a really nice graphic tee right now and um like a deeper color blue or something like that I just think this is really nice over a cami I'm still you know in swimming weather over here so I can wear this over my bathing suit so I'm gonna you know I am considering this one but I still want to know you guys' opinions of what you guys think. And, um, okay, so this pink t-shirt, I'm going to pass on this. It's a beautiful color. It's a color I would wear. I already have 
a lot of things like this in my wardrobe already. So like I said, I'm looking for pieces that I can fill in my wardrobe, you know, those missing, um, you know, miss, you know, I'm like those empty, empty spaces, right? <laughs> but it is really nice. It's a nice basic. It's really nice and soft. I mean, Ambiance is a really good brand. I used to wear, um, buy them all the time. And for the price, I think it was a little high for a t-shirt, but I think it's really nice. Okay, this blue top with the crochet detail. This was really pretty. I did like the color. It's a really nice, you know, for transitioning. But I try to stay away from strapless bras as much as I can. This girl does. I just do not like them. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like strapless bras. If I have to go to a wedding or something like that, then I would, you know, like consider it. Or if I really like a dress or something, then I would consider it or a top or something like that. But this was just choking me. It just felt really tight around my neck, but it is really nice. I would have to go up a size and then it would be fine. But I am passing on it because, I mean, I do love my shoulders. I worked really hard on them for many years and my and my arms. But just just the fact of you need a strapless bra. You, you know you can wear a bralette with this if you're smaller chested. That wouldn't be me, though. The next thing is the Sear Sucker. This is really nice. This is a window pane print. I really do like this. It was really pretty. But I am going to pass on this as well because it is a lighter blue. I don't, I don't really gravitate towards these lighter blue colors. I gravitate towards more aquamarine, teals navies like those deeper brighter gem um gemstone colors or um like an aqua or something like that but i just don't i didn't really like this on me and so i'm gonna pass on this but overall it's a really beautiful top and um yeah now tina's midlife she's one of my favorite youtubers i love her so much you need to check out her channel. She does fashion hauls. She does reviews. She does beauty hauls. She does a lot of stuff. She does unboxings. She's beautiful inside and out. And this, if you're watching, Tina, this will look gorgeous on you with your beautiful blue eyes and your skin color. So, all right. And this is really nice. So, you know, I was considering at first, but the color, not sure. Okay. And the last thing are these shorts. I'm going to get them in a bigger size. I think, you know, a stretch is phenomenal in them. I really do like that. And I think I'm going to go in a bigger size with these. And because these, I could not wait to get these off my body. They were so, so tight. You know what? I just realized you guys can see my garbage can. Oh my gosh. Ah, unbelievable. I did not realize that. I'm sorry. This is real life. I am trying really hard to film at better areas for you in my home. I, you know, like my bedroom is good, but it would only have to be at night. And I really like you guys to hear the birds in the background and everything like that. So yeah. So let me know if you guys like this filming area, if the lighting was really good and like I said, I do not have a ring light on, but I apologize about the garbage. But I am going to be doing an empties video soon. So, but yeah, and this is also by the brand Drape Fat. This is their original brand. So I hope they send me more of these in different colors, like a lighter, lighter wash would be nice. But these are really pretty, so I'm hoping that they have my size. I already did the exchange for them already. And the kimono is a keeper. I'm definitely keeping that. And everything else, unfortunately, is going to be going back. Um, but overall, I think this was a great fit. What do you guys think? I just have my smoothie with me that I'm just, um, you know, sipping on. If you're wondering what I put in my smoothie, it is a cup of 0% <clears throat> sugar Fage yogurt. Um, a quarter cup of Fisher all natural walnuts. I didn't put a banana in today or olive oil. I actually forgot I was Russian. And a cup of Wyman frozen mixed berries. 
um, a cup of them. I think that's it. Oh, and, and a cup of um, unsweetened almond milk. So that's why you get that color. But this is what I normally have in the mornings. I do do intermittent fasting of where I have a closed window, an open window of where I eat, and then it closes at a certain time and opens again at a certain time. I usually do my, my last meal at night. <clears throat> I mean, it fluctuates. Sometimes I do 8 o'clock. Sometimes I do 7.30, something like that. And then I don't get a meal until... What time? Like 11, like 11 in the morning. Um, I had this sitting here for about an hour now. So I would say about 1130-ish was my first thing I put in my body. And that is so important that, you, you know, you want to make sure that you, um, you know, like whatever you put in your body, the first thing in the morning matters. So don't let it be sugar. Don't let it be something unhealthy because that will just make you crave throughout the day more and it would also just make you really sluggish with no energy and it's not good for you so so that's what I do and then when I'm done filming I'm gonna probably make some eggs eggs are my um <clears throat> you know I'm like my go-to and I have them with avocado or something like that and uh and then we have a lunch and then a dinner and then I do a snack before bed but anyway that will be another video if you guys are interested in what Barbara eats in a day let me know all right so I think I all right guys will you have an amazing day and I'll be back on here real soon watch me in some vlogs and I have some other hauls coming up and you know I get to rate fit on a monthly basis so let me know what your favorites were and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you to join my journey here on YouTube. And I would appreciate it so much. It's no cost to you. It just helps me um, to share more content with you guys like this. And give me a thumbs up if you love content like this. It helps my channel grow. I'm almost at 200. I can't believe it. I remember when I was at 5 and it wouldn't move. And then I remember my husband saying, Barbara, just be consistent. And then everything will work out. And it sure has. So I thank you guys so much for coming along this YouTube journey with me. And um, I do fashion on a budget um, to look good at any age, to look classy and chic at any age. So I have all different um, ages. I'm like age groups watching me. And that amazes me that, you know, I make you guys you know, have a smile on your face and, and you laugh and, and you enjoy my content and that's what I wanted. So, and I bring to you fashion, lifestyle and beauty and a lot of vlogs and just a lot of shenanigans. If that's what you're looking for, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll never miss a single one of my videos that I post. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to skadoodle and just let me know what you um, love about this, this drape fit. Okay, bye.